Hello and welcome to a new episode of Josh's Car Corner. This is going to be the last video I'm going to let out for 2022, but it is an update on Project Crewman. As you saw in the last episode, I was trying to figure out, do I try and find the left-hand drive cowl for the Crewman? Do I go with the GTO cowl or do I just keep the whole car right-hand drive? Made my decision. I am going with option one. And the reason is because, well, frankly, the internet is amazing. So many people responded to that video um, and so many people who were able to help me source that left-hand drive call responded that I am fully confident that I'm going to be able to find one. I have to give another shout out to a couple of great guys from Australia who really helped get the ball rolling. Both on the Just Commodores forum, Fu Manchu, you helped me with Project E38 too. You're an awesome dude. Thanks for all your help. Slipknot09, actually found the part number for the left-hand drive call, which is how I was able to source it and then make sure that when I do find a left-hand drive call, it is the correct one for the car. I will show you a little more that I've done because I've taken the right-hand drive cowl off of the crewman now, and I want to show you the differences and just why I think it's so important to use the proper cowl on this thing. So one more time, I'm going to go over the GTO cowl here. Now, this one doesn't have the wiper motor on it. This is where it goes. But you can see, and we've all seen this, how wiper motor goes here and the air inlet box for the HVAC system sits right here. And then these are all the fuses I pulled off the fuse block trying to pull it through the firewall. Now come over here. And as you may or may not have guessed, it is all completely swapped. So here is your right-hand drive wiper motor. And look, the air inlet box is on the left-hand side. So the fact is it was never going to work the way it was, but the good thing is now it doesn't have to. Like I said, I'm very confident I'm gonna be able to track that cowl down. There's a couple guys over in the Middle East that are uh, working on it right now for me. I appreciate their help too very much. One of them is an Australian national, drives a Dodge Durango. It has a very interesting uh, forum avatar name that I'm not gonna say right now, but he's a really cool guy. So what I'm gonna be doing on the crewman in the meantime is I'm gonna be cleaning out everything else in the engine bay. So what I'm going to do is get everything out of here in preparation for the next step. So this uh, brake module unsnaps and then uh, got to get all these good coolant hoses out of here. These are actually in really good shape from the crewman, but these are reusable because they go onto the engine in the same place. Um, and there's a really good controller there that's in really good shape. It's not all rusted out like the one on the GTO. This uh, directs how much uh, coolant water actually gets to the uh, heater core. I am going to be able to reuse these fuel lines, but what I'm going to have to do is drop them completely out of the car. So that bracket's got to come off and they've got to drop down. They have to be off the firewall. Everything has to get off the firewall in preparation. And then the next thing I have to do in preparation of taking out the right-hand drive dash is I have to have the windshield removed because it actually sits over the entire dash cowl and when they insert the dash is in the factory, the windshield is not yet in the car. So that does have to come out, but it'll also give me an opportunity to get out the uh, cardboard for the roof that's still in there, and I can get that out. And um, I might even uh, have the opportunity to have somebody figure out how to fit a new piece of canvas on there for me. So I've got a new roof liner. The only other thing I'm wondering if I have to do, because a couple people have mentioned this, is change out the cradle. Supposedly, there is a left-hand drive cradle and there is a right-hand drive cradle. Although I have studied this and the only thing I see different between the cradles is that this one's got a right-hand drive steering rack on it. But the pickup points to hold the steering rack look like they are in the same place. They don't look that different. So if there's somebody out there that knows that there actually is a difference between the cradles and then I have to get a left-hand drive cradle, Please let me know what the differences are and why I need to switch it because just eyeballing it, it doesn't look like I'm going to need to change the cradle. And then once the dash is out, the next step after that is going to be repaint the engine bay in the color that I ultimately want the car to be. Now I'm going to keep that a secret for a little while, but it is the best time to do it because nothing will be in here and I'll have it all cleaned out. One more thing I'm going to mention. I have realized that 
people want to see everything that happens in the old episodes, but they want to know how to get to them a lot easier. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to make a series of playlists for the episodes because some people come to the channel because they want to see racing. Some people want to come to see DIY stuff. Some people want to come to see like the shows and the conventions that I go to. So what I'm going to do is make three new playlists and I'm going to title them really simply. One's going to be the DIY shows. One's going to be the racing shows and one's going to be the gathering shows. Whatever you like, it's going to be a lot easier for you to find on the channel now. You'll be able to see the playlists under the Josh's Car Corner main page for the YouTube channel. And it'll hopefully make it a lot easier for you to find all the things I've done DIY or the racing I've done. Whatever you want to see, it'll be a lot easier for you to see going forward. That's what's going to be going on for the rest of the year and over the holidays for me on the Crewman. Once I get to the next step where the windshield is out and I'm ready to pull the dash out, uh, we'll do another episode. Until then, I want to wish everybody a very happy holidays. Hope you are happy and safe wherever you are. And uh, as the things keep happening on this, I will let you see those updates. Thank you to everybody that has been watching Josh's Car Corner for the past 12 years. Next year is going to be a crazy year because it's going to be a lot of crewman stuff and there's going to be some GTO DIY stuff too. So look forward to that. I look forward to uh, sharing it all with you. Thanks for watching and see you soon.